been a long time since I've been vlogging. I've been traveling so much for work. I actually just got back. If you follow me on Instagram, I just got back yesterday and it is Sunday today, but I'm vlogging and I'm happy to be holding the camera. You will see that the beard is currently gone. I was having some breakouts under the beard and my skin was getting really dry. So I decided to shave it off and I'm gonna let my skin breathe a little bit before growing it back. But I just got done with my workout and I just ran to Target. And today the Chip and Joanna Gaines uh, line released at Target. I'm gonna show you what I picked up. I didn't pick up a lot, but their stuff is really, really great. It was just that I really didn't need anything, but I did find this awesome, I don't like a tree skirt, so uh, they had this tree collar, and I'm gonna see if it fits our tree, but I really, really like it. And then this I thought was like the cutest. Their prices were really good, so this was like 30, $35, and those tree collars can be really expensive. This I thought was adorable, so it's glass with this like, metal bottom. It was $19.99. Has like fake snow in it, the little tree. I thought that was really cute. I love taper candles and she has these beautiful gray ones in the collection, the Hearth and Hand from Magnolia. Um, and then this candle is amazing. It's balsam and spice. And then I picked up these ornaments. They're really pretty. They're like a gray speckled tin, little accents of gold. I love anything that mixes metals. Sorry, I'm jiggling you all around. And then lastly, I picked up these ornaments. These are not part of that collection, but I saw these online and I knew I wanted to get them because I love like the tribal aspect of them and the really graphic print. So I picked those up. If you see in the background right there, well, there's Bubby. There's Bubba's, he's here. Yes, he is. And I've already put up my tree because I'm so excited for Christmas. Plus, I'm planning on filming like a holiday gift guide video and a couple other holiday-ish like prep videos. Um, so I want my Christmas decorations up. So I'm gonna put this tree collar on and then I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll show you my tree and what I did with it this year. So I am currently a sweaty mess because I ended up taking our entire Christmas tree apart and then putting it back together. Because while I was messing with that tree collar, the lights went out on the tree and I was like, I don't know what to do. Um, so I replaced the fuse in the, in the little, um, plug and tried everything. Then I looked around the living room and realized that none of the lights were on and that we had blown a fuse in the basement and I just had to flip the switch. So I did a lot of extra work, um, but the tree collar is on and I'm also going to just show you the decorations around. So I'm going to show you what I have done so far and where I bought stuff and where I picked things up so you can head on out and get them yourself. So this is our Christmas tree this year. It is nine and a half feet. I don't put a topper on the tree because I feel it looks a lot more rustic, but this is the tree. These peace signs are from Pottery Barn probably eight or nine years ago, but I find that they have them often. A lot of these ornaments, like the fur ones, this Merry Christmas one is from Target. These are new at Target. I just picked these up this morning and I think they are so pretty. I got uh, this gray and then there's also like a black but everything is like silver and white and a little bit of gold and black and gray but yeah I'm really happy with it we also ordered these really cool like Mongolian fur goats <laughs> from Pottery Barn and they should be coming and that's the last thing I'm going to add to the tree they're white and I think they'll look really great here are some of those ornaments I got from the Joanna Gaines collection at Target. They're really heavy. I love them. Some mercury glass pieces. So that is the tree. And those tribal ones really help tie in this ottoman, which I'm happy about. The coffee table's super simple. This globe is from Goodwill. I painted it black with chalkboard paint and then just wrote Peace on Earth on it. Um, over here, I just have a simple mercury glass tree. This deer head is from our house, A-R-H-A-U-S. I love it. And then these candlesticks are all from Goodwill as well. I was burning them last night. Um, I also always burn my tapers before I even show them in the candlestick because I like a burnt one that looks like it's been used versus like one that's never been burned. 
Then I picked up these stocking holders from West Elm. They're marble and gold. And the stockings from West Elm are back ordered, but I just got an email that they've shipped. And the garland is from Michaels. And I put in some fairy lights so I can flip the switch and turn those on. Over on our TV stand, once again, really simple. These houses were from the candle section of Target probably two or three years ago, and I love them. I love them so much. Then just that Joanna Gaines candle I picked up. It's balsam spice. And then I put that tree that I showed you earlier, and I have like this little wooden star down here. And that's really it. Super, super easy. I've done this the same for the last two years. It's these really pretty mercury glass trees and then that one little green one there. Then I have a basket of yarn that I just put this string of bells and like little fur pom-poms in. And then in this marble vase, I just put some winter sprigs that have like a flocking on it. Dining room is even simpler. Once again, candlesticks from Goodwill, except for the two bird ones because they're from Target a couple years ago. But these candlesticks at Goodwill, you'll pay about a dollar for them. So it's a really, really great deal. On the buffet, just two mercury glass trees, a reindeer, and then I hang, <laughs> not many people would do this, but I hang the wreath frame that you can buy. I think they look really cool and modern and a lot of fun. I also am going to replace these three pots with something else. If you have any ideas of what would look really cool in there, please leave a comment down below because I will definitely add something in there. Um, then, just this wooden snowflake, this oversized ornament, just that's just decorative. And that's the entryway. I do nothing in our office. It just always stays the same. So nothing in there. In the breakfast nook, I just have a simple tree and this gold moose that I really, really like. There's a little reindeer over there. And then here, I got this village at, I want to say papyrus. Um, last year and I really think it's adorable. The houses light up but I don't like the color of the lighting so I put them under this lamp so that lights it. Then at West Elm, because you guys know I love llamas, I found this llama snow globe and I love it. It's too cute. Then lastly I have my little uh, tray on my island. There's just a tree. That's all I added. Um, I took out the greenery that was there before. And then I have my dessert plates on it, my marble rolling pin, this cute bell. I might go to Home Goods and see if I can find something to fill that space, but I'm not too urgent about it. Then I have this cute little wooden tree. I just think it ties in really well with the cutting boards. And then I have another one of those little wooden trees over on that side as well. What I love about my decorations is I keep it really simple and because of that it's no stress putting them away, no stress taking them out, but it also feels like I have enough. Um, so I really like it. And just so you guys know, I'm going to be doing a DIY video very soon because I'm replacing this tile around the surround because I do not love it. Um, I just don't love it. And the hearth piece, I'm going to replace all of that. And then what I use there, I'm going to put behind on this wall as a backsplash. And then also this tile piece above the stove, I'm going to replace as well to all match. They're like a more modern gray and mar Carrera marble um, rect long rectangular tiles. Um, so I'm super excited about that. But that video will be coming up soon. But uh, yeah, I smell because I've been to the gym and sweating with decorations. So I'm gonna go get showered, get cleaned up, and then maybe we'll run to Home Goods. <laughs>
fell in love with a couple things that I normally wouldn't buy. So I think I might have found something for the tray. It's this deer on a marble stand. I'll show you when we get back. And there's this gray and white, like, gnome elf looking thing that I fell in love with and I would never buy it. But there's just something about it that I think is super, super cute. So I'm gonna see if I can incorporate it somewhere. I really am unsure if it will work in um, any of my spaces, but I'm gonna give it a try. And then lastly, Stephen and I were at our house, which is what our favorite furniture store. So many pieces from our house have come from that store. Um, decorative and big pieces of furniture. And we saw these like big glass domes that they put books in and it just looked so cool. But for one of the glass domes, it was like $265, which I think is just a lot of money for a glass dome that I'm just gonna put books in that's strictly decorative. So I found this dome at Home Goods. I'm gonna see if I can make it kind of work the same. If I can, I took a picture of it at our house. I'm gonna put the picture that I found right here on the screen. But that's what I do so many times. If I see something at Pottery Barn or a fancy furniture store that I really like, especially like how they decorate, um, I will often snap a picture of it and then try to find like the alternative. But uh, we'll try it at home and see how it turns out. That friend is wearing a scrunchie. I haven't seen a scrunchie in years. I also look like a 12 year old boy since I've shaved off my beard. I look so stinking young, which is a good problem to have. I mean, don't we always want to look younger, but I look young. So I didn't like the pedestal that was on here because I wanted it to sit low. So I just pried it off, added some feet to the bottom and sanded it down. And now we're gonna put the books in it, put the glass dome over it and see how it looks. But just because it doesn't come the way you want it, doesn't mean you can't make it exactly what you do want. So we got the books on and now we're gonna add the glass dome. And there you go. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. When you're at expensive furniture stores, before you go ahead and splurge on the big expensive piece, think about how you can make it um, on the cheap. So I literally saved $140 because that cost me $39.99. With about five minutes of DIYing, I made it exactly what I want. So excited, it looks so good. So from the front of the coffee table, it just looks so good. This is looking a little bare. I feel like that tray is too big, but I don't know. I think I might need to make some moves. So here's what happened. I completely fell asleep with Bubba's on the couch. Here's all. And um, it's not like five o'clock. Steven isn't home yet because he's still running some mock trials at a local college, but um, I just woke up. But. Nothing else is going to happen today, so I think I'm just going to call this vlog a day and post it, and yeah, take care of yourself, take care of others.